Hey! What is up, everybody? It's Monday, and that means it's time for another uh, edition of Mame Roulette, episode 17 now. The stream in which I'm uh, completely unprepared for whatever happens tonight, because I'm just loading up Mame, I'm playing whatever random arcade games come out. Sometimes I know what they are, sometimes I don't, but it's a, it's a good time all around. <laughs> So yeah, it was a it was an interesting weekend. Obviously, I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but I was at Northwest Majors over the weekend, and I had a good time. I got to see a, a lot of people again. Also, thanks uh, Zachy, uh, Adam, and Retro Omega for the hosts. Much appreciated. But yeah, Northwest Majors. I didn't uh, I didn't do too well in any tournaments. Like I wasn't expecting to do well in like Tekken or uh, or Street Fighter Five, but I really wanted to do well in the Mystery Game Tournament. But I didn't even make top six. I ended up go I ended up losing on the uh, the Rocky PlayStation Two boxing game, and uh, Digimon Arena Rumble Two or something. I don't even remember the name of it. Some fucking Digimon Smash Brothers ripoff on on Xbox, not Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, but original Xbox. Uh, System 11. Soro came up in the very, very first Mame Roulette stream. It was like the third game that came up, so <laughs> yeah. Check the archives for that one. But yeah, even though I didn't make uh, the finals of the Mystery Game Tournament, I mean doing these streams like prepares me for a lot of shit in Mame, but it doesn't prepare me for everything else that's <laughs> on every other console, so that was a that was a problem. But I had have, I have fun doing commentary on the uh, on the main stage and all that said one thing I regret, but I also got to make a lot of Lord Brady jokes, so it's all good. Uh, oh, shit, I lost my... Uh, oh, there's a split. It was not... Why is it not always on top? Yeah, so I added a, uh, a timer since everybody was, was saying, hey, BBH, add a... Uh, Add a timer to the side, like Macaw does, so we know how long each game is. So, I'll do that. I will I will do that. Alright, it's working. Another thing for me to forget to do between games. Hey, BBH, you forgot to reset the timer. Hey, BBH, you forgot to update the, the game name. It's always something. And also... I added uh, I added Franker faces support. I put in a uh, a few I, I I took a few uh, emoticons from other people because you know uh, Captain Jive Pants made that uh, that too bad BBH. So I pretty much had to have it at that point. And so there's a there's a lot more room for more stuff that I haven't uh, that I haven't added yet. There's a few I have in mind that I want to make, but if anybody else has anything else to suggest, then uh, any cool ones that are out there? Yeah, go ahead and and put them in chat, and I'll I'll check them out later. <laughs> I'm not putting that on the stream poll. <laughs> I don't think we need a loop of that. <laughs> oh, fucking DSP! I can't believe that shit. It's like I was just. I was just sitting there at the venue at Northwest Majors on Sunday, and I look at Twitter, and everybody's, like, freaking out on Twitter. What the fuck did DSP do now? And, like, I could... I was like, what? What did he do? And I couldn't figure it out at first, because, like, everybody was just freaking out. Nobody was, like, linking the actual thing, but... Anyway. Let's not talk about DSP. Let's play some fucking random arcade games. Does that sound good? I think that sounds like a, a good idea. All right, so we're up to game number 239, which means the game after this is viewer's choice. Hey, how about that? All right, first up. Hey, Stormblade. I will definitely play this. Yeah, the video emulation probably still not 100% accurate. I remember it had some bug in one of the stages that was that made the game look like look really bad. Like you couldn't see like a lot of shit after that. 
I don't know if they ever fixed that. Yeah, this was the stage it fucked up on. I think they fixed it. Wait, was it this stage or the stage after? I don't know. I kind of have some familiarity with this game, but I don't think I've even done one loop on one credit, so... Alright. Visco, from the makers of Breaker's Revenge. Which apparently happened briefly at Northwest Majors, but I never saw the setup. Rip me. Alright. There's only one obvious choice here. Stormblade! It has to remind you between stages what the what the name of the game is. Okay, I remember there's some bonus for like uh Was there a bonus for killing hundred percent enemies in this game, like in Viper Phase 1? I don't remember. So I already I already blew it. Okay, no, wait, do you have auto fire? No, you don't have auto fire. Max out in power uh, pretty damn fast. Yeah, I guess this isn't the uh, the first Vis Visco schmuck that's come up. Also had Basara one at uh, at some point. All right, I think you can kind of kind of point blank these. You gotta watch out for other shit. Yeah, there's dialogue in between stages, too. <laughs> Great success. Okay, it wasn't this stage that had the graphic bug. I think it was, like, stage four. I thought the stage came later. It's kind of hard to see bullets on this background, though. Holy fuck. Like, the bullets are like, doing this weird, uh... Like, even the missiles are doing this, this weird transparency behind the clouds. I did see this game uh, a grand total of once in an arcade. And yeah, I thought it was fun at the time. But like I said, it's never a game I actually put any serious time into, like, trying to... trying to clear. It actually has two loops. And I still haven't done one loop on one credit, so... I'd like to think that's possible, but uh, like I said, the emulation's always been kind of a little, a little wonky in MAME. That's all right. Didn't want to bomb that, but better than dying. Yeah, the music in this game is like, I don't know, it's its weird. It's kind of inappropriate.
Yeah, I think she is in a uh, schoolgirl outfit because, you know, Japan. Goes straight from school to the airplane. I don't remember if that hurts you or not. <laughs> I shouldn't have bombed. Hey, what's up, Josh? This is the first game. You didn't miss anything. Fuck! That's what I get for looking at chat. Oh, I don't have bombs. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I had another bomb for some reason. Wow, this is really bad. I know I've done a lot better on one credit than this, but whatever. Wow, DSP. Too bad, BBH. Uh, Josh, announcements. I just uh, said that I added a, uh, a timer to the side just to keep track of how long each game's been played. And I added uh, Franker Faces, so anybody who has that installed can, uh, can do some dumb emotes. And I'll add some more dumb, e dumb emotes later, but I had to, I had to add it now after, uh, after Too Bad BBH got approved, so. There are a couple things I want to add, but I just haven't had time yet. Oh yeah, and I talked about Northwest Majors a little bit. But... Oh, these uh, some of these stages are really short, but then the bosses have uh, shitloads of health. Oh no, this is the the bosses to stay uh, a wave of. Uh, ships. It's like kind of a bonus stage, but not really because you can still die. You just get big points at the end. Can't excuse anyone who dirt ties our sky. That was the English I remember. Yeah, I don't even remember the name of that fucking Mugen DBZ game. Like, they didn't, they didn't put the name on stream and... Uh, Johnson seemed to know no, know what it was called. I guess yeah, Hyper DBZ or something. Oh, one up. No, there were uh, Tom Brady was not at uh, at Northwest Majors. He was there last year, but that's because like uh, uh, last year Northwest Majors was like one of one of the first majors for uh, MKX, and this year like barely anybody entered it. I can barely even see the bulls in this game. Holy shit! Now I remember why I stopped playing this game for. The one credit player. I think there were like 20 people or so that, that entered MKX. Maybe there were more late minute registrations, but I don't remember. Oh well, at least uh, Lord Brady uh, <laughs> lived on in Mystery Game Finals. Yeah, the 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 first uh, the first game of that Tecmo Super Bowl Grand Finals was so fucking hype, and then the second game, like all the hype, just like all the energy just went out of the room because there was such a fucking blowout. And then, wow, I didn't even see that fucking bullet. I can't see shit in this game. I think my my eyesight is going. My eyesight's getting worse. 
But yeah, that second game was such a blowout, and Josh just kind of gave up and, <laughs> and conceded victory. Which, I don't blame him, but that was just really disappointing after that, that first game was so exciting. The most high-stakes Tecmo Super Bowl money match of all time. And, like, the whole thing about that was, is that I'm I'm not really a big football guy. I don't, uh, I don't really know all the players like, uh, like Johnson did. So he was just kind of taking the lead on that. And then we got, uh, uh, Jate, a.k.a. OMNE, a.k.a. Probable Cause, to, to come in as, like, a, a third man on commentary. And they were just, uh, they were just, uh, covering commentary pretty much, and I was just sitting there, like, reading stream chat on my phone. I had, like, nothing to say at that point. <laughs> Josh wasn't using the, the New England Patriots anymore, so I couldn't make any, any more Lord Brady jokes. So, oh, this is the last stage. I forgot this was only six stages. It's kind of a short schmuck. I remember looking at the last boss and not really uh, figuring out much of a strategy other than just bomb like crazy. <laughs> yes, cloudy music. I had to use that. Uh, had to use that face. Yeah, the, uh, the bullets in this game, they're just really fucking hard to see. Shit. Uh, well... Yeah, that's the thing. I thought the uh, Mystery Game Top 6 was going to be on uh, Chaos Gaming TV, but then they switched it to uh, Seattle Tekken. We were running Mystery Game Top 6 on <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Seattle Tekken for some reason. Like, I tried to I tried to keep everybody updated on, like, Twitter and stuff, but I couldn't really, uh, you know... If you don't have Twitter or you weren't following me on Twitter, you know, there's only so much I can, I can do to get the word out, but yeah. Commentators seem to hate each other. Well, I got along fine with Johnson when we were doing commentary, but I don't. I didn't really. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, I was there and I was not, uh, you know, listening to the commentators when I was there. So I haven't really. I haven't really watched any of the archives, by the way. So I don't. Uh, I don't know how that went. Uh, how that went down. This boss. This is actually the last boss. This is a, a pretty, uh, a pretty lame last boss design. But uh, I know it has a shitload of health. Yeah, this. It gets like really fucking stupid patterns. That's some last boss. <laughs> 
Seemingly, she loves someone in the team. What? Oh yeah, I wonder... I don't even remember if there's like different dialogue if you're playing with two players, like in uh, Arrow Fighters. I'm sure there is. Maybe there's different endings. I've never even thought about that. Let's go next guy. No, actually, let's not. Also, what's up, Jason? What's up, Ann? What's up, everybody else that uh, has kind of come in? I haven't really been able to to reach out very carefully because you know how it is with uh, with shmups. I'll just play this life out, and then that's uh, that's it. <laughs> Oh. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's it. Yeah, whatever. At least that was only uh, one continue. That's not too bad. I guess. Top Gunners. <laughs> well, that's Stormblade. It's it's pretty fun. It's just really fucking hard to see the bullets on some of those backgrounds. I'm still not 100% sure if that's a, a MAME issue. I'm pretty sure it is, but... Uh, that's only the... That's the biggest problem, I think, with the game. Yeah, a moment of silence for BBH, who died after your, after forgetting to put food in his backpack before he went climbing the mountain. RIP. Alright, so that was uh, game number 239. Which means that, uh, once again, or not once again, but for the first time tonight, we're already at the viewer's choice. As usual, I will uh, bring up Mame's list of 15 games, all chosen randomly. And you guys get to decide one of the 15 games, as long as it's not something I've played before, and it's actually something that will run in MAME at a, at a reasonable speed and all that. Anyway, uh, let's look at the list. And, uh, also, no more rerolls. Uh, you guys lost that privilege after uh, what happened last time with, with Gypsy Juggler, so this is, this is what we're dealing with. So we got Hot Mind, which... I think I played this. It was that weird gambling game. Exciting Animal Land Jr. Ugh, I don't even know. Fire Shark on, on Genesis. It says not working, but those Megatech games do actually work, so I guess that's an option. Uh, Megatech, 1980. High voltage, unemulated protection. House Mannequin? I assume that's Mahjong. Rave Racer, probably pretty slow. Ooh, Gorilla War, I didn't see that there. Uh, Super Real Basketball, another Megatech game. Uh, Tempest. Dynamic Ski. Blaster. A little scene sequel to Robotron. Another Visco game? I. Oh, this is that Shogi game. Okay. I think I played that. Pac Man Plus. Ugh. Wait, there's three Mega. I didn't even see that. There's three Megatech games. Ugh. That's. The Sega Master System version. <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, the uh, the Mega Tech games. Oh, oh, they're fair play. We can we can play any of those. So let me uh, bring up a straw poll out of the ones that uh, that actually work. I probably shouldn't say uh, which ones I'm. I'm leaning towards wanting to play because people got pissed off after the whole Night Striker thing last time, but again, that was 100% uh, not my fault. I had, uh, I had no part in that. I did not rig anything. Okay, yeah, I did play Hot Mind. That was, uh, that was the game I'm thinking of. Okay, that's not going on the list then. All right. 
Sighting Animal Land Jr. Fire Shark. Make attack. Mannequin. <laughs> Strip Mahjong. Oh, great. Rave Racer is probably going to run too slow, but I'll put it on the list anyway. Tempest. Dynamic Ski. Blaster. Man Plus. Sega Master System Fantasy Zone. Okay. Could you stop streaming until I watch Game of Thrones? Okay. The stream's over. Just kidding. Yeah, there's some uh, some strong game names here. <laughs> Just going by game names. <laughs> All right, looks like we're uh, we're at a tie now. Yeah, X Mortis. I think Rave Racer is the game with the uh, the butt girl intro. Oops, I reloaded the wrong uh, the wrong window. <laughs> there goes my chat box. And now everything's like doubled up. What the fuck? <laughs> just just ignore that shit off to the side. Uh, that game in the top left was a. Uh, a rock climbing game. It's called like Power Climber or something that McCall was playing on his stream where he named a character after me and then he murdered me. Totally on accident. Good times. Wow, this is like a, a three-way race here. Holy shit. This is pretty close. What's up, Pyox? Yeah, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Never mind. So right now, it's looking like Blaster has seven votes, but also Exciting Animal Land Jr. has seven votes. Like, Exciting Animal Land Jr. is such a cool title that there's no way that it's actually going to live up to the, the hype. It's going to be some kids game redemption shit or something. Actually, it's too early for redemption games. It was like, what, 84? What was it? Oh, it's 93. Okay, never mind. Could be... Re video ticket redemption bullshit. Uh, Guerrilla War has rotary controls, but I can I can handle rotary controls. I just use a mouse for uh, for rotary aiming. It's worked fine on games like uh, Heavy Barrel, and I used it on Mad Planet. So I'm totally down for uh, rotary joystick games. All right, so it's eight votes for Blaster, seven for Exciting Animal Engineer. I'm about ready to uh, to call it right there, unless uh, another vote comes in in like the last thirty seconds, since that's about the usual <laughs> stream time delay.
Wait. Okay, ten votes for Blaster. That uh, that pretty much clinches it. We are playing Blaster. Yes, Jason, it is indeed the the Eugene Jarvis <laughs> first person shooter, I guess you could say. All right, Blaster, it is. It is redemption shit, huh? Video whack-a-mole. See, I, I knew it. I knew it sounded something like that. Also, 1993, not 1983. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Wait, why is this not showing up in in the window? Okay, OBS, you wanna... There we go. Sorry. So, as some of you may know, I'm a huge fan of uh, of Robotron 2084. It's one of my favorite games from the Golden Age. Blaster? Mm -hmm. Oh god, this game has analog. Oh shit, I forgot. Uh, let's see how well this plays on joystick. Alright, reset. Press blast for galaxy map. Which is my blast button? That's the galaxy map. Oh look! <laughs> Stage six is called time tunnel. <laughs> uh, Blaster did get released. It was just uh, not very widely released. It did not get uh, much distribution. See, it totally takes place after Robotron 2084. It's in the same uh, the same universe. Your destination, paradise. <laughs> but first, you must blast or be blasted because you are a blaster. Oh, the time tunnel. Okay. All right, we got a flight stick, we got I have no idea what button 1, button 2, and button 3 actually are, so this is going to be a problem. Uh, we're going to figure this out. Alright, we'll play, uh... Wait. My blast button is button 3? Okay. Okay, oh... Yeah, this, uh, this game. <laughs> Shit. I have no idea if you can, like I said, I have very little experience with the, uh, the arcade cabinet. Oh, I took a hit. I've seen it at, like, the, uh, the Northwest Pinball Show and stuff, but I don't recall, like, ever seeing this in an actual arcade when, uh, when I was old enough to actually uh, go to arcades in the, the mid 80s. Oh god. Energy critical. Oh wait, I didn't even push button two. Rescue the spacemen. I do know one thing about this game that, uh,. Oh, shit. I should have thought I shot that. I do know one thing about this game that I will have to, to show, but the whole paradise thing. But I'm, like, honestly not sure I can actually do it, because, like, like I said, I'm not a... Uh... Oh, button two speeds up. That makes sense. Energy. Okay, so you 
can get energy pickups. To restore your health bar. Vampires. Like, this game is pretty damn am ambitious for the time. I mean, this came out in 83. Alright, what is button 3? Button 3 doesn't even do anything. Shit. Saucer land! If you want to find saucers, you gotta go to saucer land. Oh, there's that, uh... Oh, shit. Holy shit, those are some fast bullets. I guess the trick is just keep going full speed. The robot grid. Oh, shit. I'm not going through those gates. Fuck, I'm... I'm dead. <laughs> I ran into the gate. <laughs> Paradise is still 15 million light years away. Thanks for the host, Cynical Razor. There, Q. That's me. I didn't even, even beat Billy Blast's high score. Fuck. Because, yeah, I remember watching a replay of this and seeing Paradise. But, oh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Like, I could skip to, uh... You get a big bonus for warping, huh? Alright. Fucking going down, Billy Blast. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Alright, yeah, I don't know how to do this fucking stage. I'm just gonna fucking fly over everything. Shit, I still hit the fucking gate. Yeah, this totally is like the uh, the fucking uh, Lawnmower Man games. Time tunnel! We're in the time tunnel! This is not time tunnel. After runaway ships, loot. Oh, I missed a spaceman. If <laughs> I fuck shooting everything, I'm just gonna dodge. Whoa! Was Levels end at like after a certain amount of time. I don't think it's distance based, or maybe you have to destroy a certain amount of stuff. Oh, energy! Yeah, I get all that E. Give me all the E. Cat world! Oh, it's a cat. Oh god, these. Fuck these cats. I stepped into the wrong cat neighborhood. Ah! Okay. Ooh, big points. I fuck that up, though. When do you actually get extra lives in this game? You have to get extends. Oh shit! No! Oh 
Jesus! This is so much harder than Night Striker. Fuck! Masterminds. What the? Throwing beach balls at me. Fuck. Like a lot of times, I'm just like unsure. Like, it's hard to judge like how you should be dodging shit. You know? Oh, I got an extra life. Uh oh. That went bad really quickly. <laughs> that guy. Okay. Oh, I thought I could dodge that. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna get another extend. This is it. Risky to go for those gates because it... oh time panel it takes a while to get you to get you see the gate on screen and you think you're about to pass through it but it takes a while to actually go through it and the longer you stay in one spot the more likely it is that bullets are gonna hit you all right does the stage have any e oh shit slow down. what was that rock really that close Balls. Nope. Billy Blast has 511,000. Hey, 511. But then, like, second place on the default scores was, like, 220. Like, why is that score so much higher? I really want to show the rest of this. Should I just, like, suck it up and use, like, Infinite Lives Cheat to go to the end? Because I'm sure everybody's curious about Paradise, right? Or I could do this. How many extra ship every? I could start with 20 lives. <laughs> that works too. I was hoping it would go even lower than that. Like Robotron has like some ridiculous score intervals you can set for extends. But uh, all right, I'll cheat. Let me restart this real fast. Uh, yes, Devil Ray, it is a uh, a sequel to Robotron. Like it said so, like right in the intro, that it takes place the year after Robotron 2084. See? <laughs> See what we got here. Infinite energy. Oh, I can actually s select a wave. Okay. What wave was I on? 13, 14? Okay. Let's see if this works. Although sometimes you have to actually have to start a game to to get it to work. I think I just have to play through this way first. Or not. It says wave 1, but we're at, like, wave 14. I think. Maybe I should have just, uh... Okay, yeah, now we're at wave 15. Oh, shit! What do I care? I have infinite energy now. I'm, I'm a cheating motherfucker. Did 
does take out some of the tension when you when you're cheating like this, but you know, whatever. Whoa. The sound is like really fucked up. Well, I guess what that's why they call the stage Enduro. It just keeps going and going. You gotta fight vampires, you gotta fight I guess those are cats. Yeah, I guess those are... Yeah, those are cats. Okay. Close enough. I just had to pause it and see. We got saucers. But we're not in saucer land anymore, so... And now we're at Cat World again. Oh, you get a bonus for killing a, an entire wave of cats. That's a thing I never thought I'd say. Are there any good cat franker faces? I need more cat franker faces. I could do that, Jed, but Kaiser Knuckle hasn't come up yet, so. <laughs> I don't know what your point is. <laughs> if it does come up, I will try it, like, the normal way. I will try to do it legitimately, because, like, I gotta kind of earn my way there, right? I gotta, like, you know, figure out how to play a character before I fight God himself. It'd be nice if these stages had, like, some kind of, like, progress bar to let you know how long they are. Alright, more grids. It's gonna crash through everything. Oh, that was almost a sick dodge. Okay, so the bonus resets, I think, when you take a hit. Yeah. Like, this stage kind of reminds me of that, uh, that one stage on the Atari Star Wars arcade game, but... Oh! Armageddon! Which I think is just Enduro all over again. Almost a paradise. Whoa, I got like an, what was that, like an 8,000 point bonus? shit flying at you, and it's, like, hard to tell, like, which direction you're supposed to dodge in. That's why, I, like, I've never been good at this game. It's, like, uh, it's why I've always been bad at Afterburner. Because, like, you see, you see, like, ships launching missiles at you, and you think, okay, I'm gonna start getting out of the way of this missile. And then the missile just homes in and kills you anyway, no matter which direction you dodge. Like, if after, when, whenever Afterburner comes up, that's really gonna expose how bad I am at that game. Not every game can be Night Striker, I guess. Well, they turned off the textures to make the game run faster. Oh, here we are, Paradise! And... Yeah. I... I gotta pause this to, uh... You can probably tell what, uh... <laughs> why I had to show this off.
Yeah. Those are some, uh... <laughs> there's some actual panty shots going on here. Of course I would know that this, uh, that this happens at the end, right? <laughs> Mwah. And then it just uh, loops back around to what's essentially wave one, but but harder. Because, like I said, paradise is every twenty stages, so you can reach paradise, the land of twirling panty shot girls. But then it's uh, back to destroying robots and cats and space vampires and and all that. <laughs> you feel trolled. Why? <laughs> that was great. Alright, well. I think that's, uh... I've shown everything that needs to be shown about, uh, about Blaster. Yeah, it's a Western game. It was made by Eugene Jarvis, who, who made Robotron 2084. Hallucinatory space panties. <laughs> That's a phrase I never thought I'd hear. Oh, good. Goodness gracious. Okay. I will kill this off. <laughs> that was a good choice. That was a good choice for, for viewer's choice. I really do need to start keeping a list of, <laughs> of, every, of every game with panty shots. I joked about doing that, but maybe I should. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on. Okay. Sure. Let's uh, let's play some Alpha Three. Three. Street Fighter. <laughs> the history. I probably know more than. <laughs> well, no, there's got to be some Japanese guy who who would school me on that. But anyway. Street Fighter Alpha Three. Right, buttons, buttons are good. Indeed, I did. Stalin's mustache. The very first Bamer Let stream. Alpha Two came up. Sixteen streams later, Alpha Three comes up. So. If you're waiting for Street Fighter Alpha 1, that'll happen on episode 33. That's a good point, Jason. We have to collaborate on it, then. <laughs> the love of panties is, crosses all cultures and languages. Anyway. I'm gonna be ultimate, uh... Ultimate Scrub Lord, Agru Karen, not Peeker. Because <laughs> I forget all the fucking uh, VCs. Oh fuck, I forgot the timer. This is fucking Street Fighter V as fuck. Nice anti-air grab, Mika. Okay. Yeah, bufferable standing medium kick, the god. Oh 
Oh yeah, she's got the 360 in this game. Mora, she's wearing panties over bike shorts. Come on. Keep up. Ah, I'm trying to do the tick. I think you can usually do like stand short and do a... Uh, and the tick throw. Nope, oh, Portland punish. Super. <laughs> so, I want to show the sample version after this. Obviously, I'm playing the uh, the normal, uh, the main ROM set. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember the Vism combos, okay? Also, I'm doing this because... <laughs> should I admit that? That's actually kind of embarrassing, but... Uh, anyway, it's just much easier to actually do fucking... Juggle in the level 3 Super. I'm not trying to do any fancy shit here. Because, it's... like, I stopped playing this game competitively before, like, all the... Uh, all the bigger shit was figured out. Or at least uh, where I live. Like, I'm, I'm really scrubby at this game. I'm uh, much better at uh, Alpha 2. And I never, oops, I never felt like playing this on, uh, on Fightcade or anything like that. Wait, what the fuck is the motion? There we go. Yeah, I should, Ross, but I don't have the uh, the extra modes unlocked. This is, like, from a fresh NVRAM file. And all that shit was, like, time-released. I'd have to get, uh... There might be some cheats that, that activate that, though. I don't know. Anyway, I do want to actually go all the way through this just to uh, dispel all the... All those idiots that think... Alpha 3 or Bison at the end is hard because it's the fucking easiest shit. Alright. Turn sound up? Okay. Yeah, I guess it is kind of low. Yeah, most of the uh, the CPS2 games, like the US versions, they default to uh, two coins to start. Damn, I can't even fucking do the 360. Ooh, don't jump! Oh, I tried to do the jump jump at me. Come on, do it. Can't even do a super. That didn't work. God, fuck you, Rolando. Alright, she's got counters in this game. Wow. There goes my fucking score attack. Anyway, this game is uh, two coins to start because, like, that's like the default on like a shitload of Capcom games made for the U.S. Like, even when uh, when Champion Edition came out, like one of the things was they wanted to make it uh, two tokens to start. I think it was two tokens to start because, like, they saw that uh, 
uh, World Warrior World Warrior made so much money, so when Champion Edition came out, they wanted to milk it for, for all it was worth. And so, like, it defaulted to, to two, two points to start. 50 cents. My local arcade did, uh... Did have Champion Edition at 50 cents when they got it. So... Yeah, I remember that poll. That's like one of Dandy J's uh, homogeneous videos, where Kuma does Beijing Demon on Dalsum and it does like 80%. Like, turning up the damage wasn't even an option in the, the home version of Street Fighter 4. You could change the handicap, but that was just however much life they started with. It didn't actually affect damage like that. Wow, there it is. Yeah, a lot of games were, uh, especially fighting games, they started making them 50 cents to start. Because, I mean, World Warrior was always, like, 25 cents everywhere, but, like, they saw how much money it made, they were like, we can, uh, there's so much demand for it, imagine if we, uh, you know, make it 50 cents to start, that'll get even more money from people, but of course that pissed off players, because, you know, you're used to paying 25 cents for for World Warrior, and all, all of a sudden, you know, it still says Street Fighter 2, but it's it's 50 cents. But of course, people wanted to play the bosses and all that. Ah, uh, you'd be surprised, Stalin's mustache. There's a there's a lot of fighting game heads that uh, that come to this channel. I should have picked Blanca and just did Watermelon Super. Oh well. Also, for the most part, I'm barely competitive in, in any fighting game nowadays. Especially going by, by, going by my Northwest Majors results. Shoutouts to somehow uh, getting farther in my Tekken 7 bracket than I did in, in Street Fighter V. I'm the best. Frauding people with Lucky Chloe. That was fun. Oh, that so anyway, one of my uh, <laughs> one of my fondest memories of this game. Or playing the uh, the sample version when it uh, when it came out. Like I was living in in Austin, Texas at the time, and apparently an arcade in San Antonio called uh, Cyber Zone, I think it was Cyber Zone, had the uh, the sample version. And so like me and like uh, three other people from Austin uh, ended up driving to San Antonio to go uh, check it out, and we played it a lot that day. And then like on the drive back, like uh, cause like I, I tried like a bunch of the characters and I said. Yeah, I think Karen's pretty fun. I think I, I think I'd end up playing her. And then my friend Peter goes, "Man, I knew you'd like BBH, or, or I knew you'd like Karen. She's such a BBH character." What the fuck does BBH character even mean? And I don't even remember what his definition was because it made no sense. What the fuck is a BBH character? But apparently, Karen is a BBH character. What a terrible fighter. I don't know. It made me laugh at the time. And then I ended up writing a. Uh, I wrote a really old fact for for Karen in Alpha 3. It's still up on Game Facts. And uh, my good buddy uh, Anatak, who runs the uh, the ancient FGC Twitter, who uh, posts like uh, out of context like text things from uh, usually like uh, the old alt games on Street Fighter 2 news group. Uh, he took one of my uh, things from the from the Karen fact. Out of, well, it wasn't completely out of context, but it was something where I said like, uh, 
because I wrote the fact like a few months after this game had come out, and I said that like V Groove Karen wasn't wasn't good, <laughs> or at least I didn't know any of the good shit for her. Like nobody had posted it yet, <laughs> and I never updated the fact. So it still says that. <laughs> it's so bad. Come on, do your fucking uppercuts. Oh, do you see that safe jump? Fuck! I'm so good at video games. Oh my god, wake up low floor DP. What a master. Air throw juggle. Jesus, I'm gonna get fucking guard crushed by the computer. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. This fucking roll mix up. Holy shit, Ken. Dude, CPU Ken's on some next level shit. Like, usually Ken AI in like every Street Fighter is always jab DP, medium DP, fierce DP, but he's actually doing other shit. It's kind of weirding me out. Oh my god! He didn't even do the fierce DP. What was that Ken pun you made the other day, Jamal, at the at Northwest Majors? Can he do it? Something like that. And I was just like, did you did you just say can he do it? Not remembering that you're the kind of guy that just makes puns like all all the fucking time. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh my god, Dawson! Dawson's so fucking nuts in this game. Go for it, man. Yoga foot up the ass. Oh my god, it's ST all over again! Afro Cold did that way to me way too much yesterday. Charity A3 tournament run by a pedophile? What? <laughs> I don't want to know. Never mind. God, Stanley Fierce is so good in this game. Ah, I just want I just want up kicks into the air throw juggle. She just map a three uh, three punch button. I can't even get the fucking throw motion. I can't hit two buttons at the same time. Guy just does a lot of run stop bullshit. Hey, Fantastic Planet, thanks for the host. Welcome to some some silly Alpha 3 shenanigans. I've gotten two thirds of the, the Street Fighter Alpha series through Main Roulette now. One more to go. Yeah, I like Hagar with his fucking two-frame background animation. What's so shitty? It's like fucking Adon in, in Capcom Fighting Jam, in that one background. Where he's just doing these one-frame punches. I remember I was in that one James Chen combo video, it, like, zoomed in on it or something. Was it James Chen or not? I don't remember. It made me laugh, anyway. Capcom Fighting Jam was actually one of the games that... Oh, there we go. I got, finally got that fucking juggle. 
Capcom Fighting Jam actually came up in the uh, the Mystery Game Tournament, by the way. But it was uh, it was only played in the second second group of pools. I didn't get to play it. Like both pools had completely different games. Like I got so fucking mad when I went upstairs and I saw that they were playing fucking World Heroes One and Magical Drop Three. I was like, why couldn't they give me those instead of fucking Rocky and Digimon Buttfuck, whatever the fuck it's called? Oh, I'm already at the rival. I play Street Fighter for the story. Of course there's salt. It was fucking $50 entry for the mystery game tournament. Gotta hold that. Oh my god. Holy sh I should have countermashed. I should why didn't I countermash? Yeah, she just has low strong in the Tatsu over that one. Oh my god, the end players. <laughs> Knocked out on Evil Zone. Damn. Yeah, the computer with a fucking... Once they see, like, any gap, they just fucking go into a, a super. I really don't like Alpha 3 soundtrack, like, at all, except for, like, Karen's stage. Alpha 3, this game just has really bad music. I thought I could 360 there. KO! <laughs> I mean, it's not all bad, but, like, it just, this game just feels like such a step down, soundtrack-wise, after, like, Alpha 2. But then again, like, a lot of the back, like, yeah, I mean, like, a lot of the backgrounds look worse than Alpha 2 also, but they had to be 25 new backgrounds instead of, like, 16 or 17, but even then... Alright, now for my secret tech against Julian and Juni. Please don't steal these strats. Let's play! Go for pro! Let's get them together. Oh god. Oh god, don't. Oh, no. oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, never mind, I'm getting blown up here. <laughs> fucking. What the fuck? <laughs> I missed the- <laughs> Only one of the bar was a perfect. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I, I totally fucking regret make it- or not making, but allowing that emoticon to be used. Together and then sweet. That's the secret tech, but you gotta wait for them to, them to actually do it first. Double dizzy? Oh, it pushes back. Double hits. Double hit. Push back. There, I still won. Get fucked. Alright, 
Now for Bison, because whenever they do those, it was like some some shitty ass like event hubs poll on like what was what who's the hardest boss in fighting game history, and people saying this and Gil and Third Strike and shit like that, because people have never played Kaiser Knuckle or or things like that. Bison's fucking easy. All you have to do, stand jab. He'll either teleport or he'll duck. And after he ducks, he throws a fireball. That's all you do. Or sometimes he'll do super. Okay, maybe just slide too. <laughs> Anytime he crouches, he's always gonna throw a fireball, so it's a free jumping combo. Of course, people in the vent hubs don't know shit. What am I thinking? I mean, you still do have to watch out for that stupid full screen super, but. He always does it after that double throw, just like that. So. Just wait for the devil's reverse and then walk. Take the chip, who cares? Oh, is that so hard? <laughs> wow, that's a shitty ass score. <laughs> oh well. Who cares about playing Alpha 3 for score though, right? It'll happen eventually, Jed, don't worry. One of these days it'll come up. You know it will. Foo ha 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 ha. That Zach Morris cell phone. Oh, ready the penis beam. I believe it looks like a penis. Wow, fuck off, DSP. He's... Ah. He's, like, so proud of the fact that he jerked off on stream now. Like... Like, it's great that he's not sweeping it under the rug, but holy shit. Anyway. Oh, right, I said I was gonna show the, uh... I'll just briefly show the uh, the sample version that I was talking about. Sample, not simple. But because, uh, like, for the longest time, there was a uh, uh, there was no ROM dump of this uh, of this sample version, but it got added like a uh, about a few months ago, I think. Wait, I gotta remember the uh, the ROM name. Was it? SF3 UR1 This is Street Fighter Alpha No it's not. Okay. Um Wait, was it?
What the fuck was the ROM name for this? I'm already, I've already forgotten. Uh... U.S. Okay. Oh, duh. U.S. Sample version. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know about this Dark Side Phil at this point, don't worry train. about it. You're you're probably better off. Uh, so the sample version was a uh, kind of a pre-release version that got some limited distribution before the uh, the official version actually came out, and it actually has a, a few interesting changes, but they're not uh, they're not widely documented. I was thinking about like trying to try to figure out more of the changes, but like I, you know, I'm not the biggest Alpha Three expert, so I don't remember like a lot of the changes. But because uh, the thing was, I remember playing this version uh, that I mentioned earlier at that uh, CyberZone arcade in San Antonio, and then when the uh, the full version, full version, the official release version came out, it wasn't uh, or like there were things in that game that weren't uh, that weren't working that used to work, like for. Uh, oh, Actually, I should do a two-player game so I don't get body by the computer. Get ready, fighters. So, like in the sample version, Karen has a bufferable low forward. You couldn't you couldn't buffer off off it in the uh, the final version. But I mean, she still has like you know standing medium kick buffer. Actually, wait, no, she can't buffer it in the sample version. How about that? They changed uh they changed it so that you could actually wait. You can only buffer it when it's close. Yeah. Yeah. They just made like a, a lots of weird changes like that, but like X Group Karen, one of the biggest changes is that look how low that jump is. It's like a fucking KOF pop. And this is only X Group Karen that has this. Like other characters uh, don't have this hop. Like the uh, A Group and B Group Karen don't. Uh, don't do the short hop. It's really fucking weird. And there's a couple other things that are different, like, uh... Like, whenever you, uh... Whenever you activate, uh... Uh, a VC, like, the, the gauge gets all fucked up. Well, watch the display at the bottom. Yeah, they, uh, they had to fix that before the final version, you know? <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty fucked up. What were, some, what were some of the other changes? I'm trying to remember. Well, like all the uh, all the win quotes are different, and there's no endings uh, programmed in yet. It just gives like a generic uh, congratulations message when you. Uh, I think when you beat Akuma's like always the uh, the last guy. Like you don't even fight Shin Bison or anything like that. Fuck, I'm trying to remember. Oh, Kami had a buffer pull up forward. And also, I think, like, uh, uh, V Cody, like, his dodge, like, activated more often. It would dodge, like, a lot more things that it didn't dodge in the final version. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm kind of getting off track here. I can't, uh, like I said, I'm not, uh, as usual with these streams, I'm completely unprepared for, uh, for whatever comes up, but there's, uh, but there's some some interesting changes in the sample version that I wish like uh, some more diehard Alpha Three players would take a look at and find more changes. But uh, but yeah, Jed found some uh, some interesting stuff with the uh, with the dip switches, but apparently lost some stuff on a hard drive. Anyway, that's uh. I think we should move on. I already spent a half hour on that. <laughs> the timer's coming in handy already. Anyway, it's Alpha 3. Everybody knows Alpha 3. That went on too long. Alright, next up. Oh, CPS 1 chains aren't in the sample version? Huh. Paradise Deluxe. Another fucking Yunsung game.
Wait, did I play this? I don't think I did. God, it's getting to the point where I can't remember what I've played. Fuck. Uh-oh, what is this? Vertical monitor. Is this fucking... Gal's Panic? Oh, God. Wait, did I play this? Yeah, I played this. Never mind. I remember now. <laughs> I think I did. Or, wait. Maybe Josh played this. Yeah, Josh played this. Never mind. Okay, I'll load it up. Fuck. I know I saw it somewhere. Yeah, I think it was Josh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, wait, dank art. Bonus game. Oh, yay, Karen. Oh, I gotta add that. <laughs> Fine work is always in. Hold on, give me, uh, give me one second. Not by I'm kind of checking a lot of things here. I'm trying to add an image. I'm trying to reset some other shit. <laughs> give me some. Give me. I said, give me a second, okay? I'm a one-man show here. New Dink and K art. Always gotta add it. <laughs> okay, now we can play fucking fucking titty titty game. Okay, which one looks the least happy? That one's pretty unhappy. What's that one? Oh, I guess I'm picking that one. Time ran out. Oh, this is one of the ones Josh picked. I remember that that butt being in the air. Yeah. Okay, this is a good one anyway. So, like, this fucking music sounds like the... Sounds like Good Vibrations by Marky Mark, kind of. Because, you know, all these fucking uh, Gal's Panic ripoffs always... Uh, like, ripped off songs from other places. Most notably, the most infamous of all, uh, Miss Nude World 96, which is probably too lewd to actually ever do on stream. Oh shit, I, I keep forgetting, you can't, uh... Unlike most uh, Gal's Panic type games, you can't actually connect it to the the outer wall. It actually has to be connected to whatever you've uh, filled in. As usual, the, oh, the strat with this game just keep doing doing little tiny uh, little tiny squares. Little tiny rectangles. There we go. Get a lot of that butt cheek. Except now I have to fucking wiggle the stick to get around that. Yeah, wiggle the stick. I forgot to set the timer, fuck. I knew this was gonna be a liability. Whoa. Terminator thing. Be 
careful. Like the enemies don't really care about which. Oh, Madros? What? The enemies don't really. <laughs> That's rude. I'm trying to talk here. What was I gonna... Yeah, the enemies don't care about like which which areas you filled in. They just kind of move over everything. Oh, maybe it's just the green ones that go over. Uh -huh. There. Try 80%. Man, I wonder who the uh, the final four are. We need the uh, the ultimate combat codes for this. Oh Jesus! Nice to meet you. Shout out to ninety nine left balloons. Shit, did I lose my speed up? No, I still have it. Okay. Alright, this is a lot easier when you actually get the speed up off the uh, the bonus game. Thank you for your death. Thank you for your what? Did she say fuck off? I think I see some nipple? I'm not sure. Be careful. Crap. I should probably call this soon. <laughs> Shit! Why do I have so many lives? I just continue. Oh yeah, that's that's some nipple. God, the, the continue screen just like comes up immediately. Oh, I lost the speed up. That's a that's a shame. Oh, Magros. Get over there. Nope. There we go. Uh, I'm going to Twitch jail for this one. <laughs> the titty. Bonus game. No whammies, no whammies. Blank. God, this picture it's uncovering looks lewd as fuck. Hello? Thank you for your claw. Thank you for your claw? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, System 11. That and, uh, fucking, uh, Miss Nude World 96. Like, those are, uh, a little over the line. Like, this is pretty bad already, but, uh, yeah, that's some nipple. Fuck off. There's another nipple. And we're out of time. <laughs> I'm going to kill it right there. <laughs> oh, I forgot to update the stats. These people were yelling at me about the game name and the timer. I think. Alpha 3 was 241, right? Yeah. Okay. 
There aren't any Twitch cops here, are there? Okay, good. Nobody saw anything. Don't snitch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's the problem, Zether. Miss Nude World 96 has, like, hilarious uh, music that's, like, ripped off from other songs. Like, the best part is the fucking... Uh, when, when they transform into the the scary pinhead or whatever, and it starts up that, everybody, move that body. Your body, my body, everybody, move that body. Your body, everybody, move that body. <laughs> so funny. All right, <laughs> we are moving on. Please no more titty games. Jolly card. I'm pretty sure this is gambling shit. Oh, I don't have the NV I don't have one of the ROM files. Okay. Not even playing it. Yeah, System 11, I saw that. That's what I'm kind of worried about. So. Trucotron. What the hell is this? Is this like a Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Is this gambling? What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> Yo soy mano! Yo te canto en vido. Que jugas? En vido? No quiero. Truco! Real Envido. El Mazo. Okay, we're not counting that. Alright, moving on. Tri Sports. 1989 Valley Midway? It looked enough like a gambling game that I wasn't really going to bother playing it. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, it's... Oh, it's multiple sports, as in tri-sports. Okay. So we got bowling. We got mini golf and pool. Three very exciting arcade games. With analog, of course. Why wouldn't it have analog? Oh, Truco's like its own game, huh? Well, I had no idea what I was doing, so... <laughs> Alright, what the fuck is select? Uh, is that button one? Oh. Well, let's play some mini golf. Except, if this uses a fucking trackball, this is gonna be really, really awkward. Like, if I just push up, what happens? Oh, press set button when ready to shoot. Yeah, this is just kind of whatever. Hey, we in there. This music's pretty funky. Oh, oh, oh! Not good. This is kind of a hard second hole. Well, that's 
sounded really bad out of context. Wait, how the fuck am I gonna do this? With a fucking... Alright. No! Wait, I can do this. Ooh! Perfect! Oh, those are some fucking scary ass clowns. Last hole? What the fuck is this shit? Oh, okay, I don't even have enough power to, to to get up there without changing analog controls. Uh. Wait. Yeah, I gotta fucking change the analog settings because it's too weak. Fuck. Now it sounds like somebody's calling me. Okay. <laughs> Still can't even fucking get. <laughs> Pack it up. <laughs> this is just like one of those games you can't really, uh really play without the proper arcade controls. I mean, I guess... Oh, really? Whoa! That scared the fuck out of me. Too bad, I'm the winner. I'm 15th place, but I'm the winner. Like, what the fuck is that animated gif they used on the title screen? It's so bad. How are there that many people involved in this game? Alright, we'll play bowling real fast. Uh, power strike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, that was a really weak... Whoa! Power strike! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Was that the fucking announcer from High Impact Football? It's Bally Midway, it might have been. Damn it. Oh, I wanted to see what happened if he got a double. I fucked that up. I forgot to start the timer! Power strike. Okay, I gotta get a double here. Whoa, look at the... The pins are doing the wave. No, it's not gonna work. Wow, what a fucking... Look, the classic 4, 6, 7, 10 split. Oh my god, I need a voice sample of this. Who's blind? I fucked up again, didn't I? Oh, I'm really hoping there's like a, a voice sample for SPARE! Strike! Fuck yeah. Bowling on fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slippery ball. Okay. What? Bullshit. Bullshit. I kind of doubt there's going to be a sound test, because usually, like... Western games don't really do that, but I can, I can check. Or I could just save state this until I get a fucking strike every time. Because I really want to hear this guy yell, TURKEY! Nah, I didn't say anything for spare. Well, Paul, this game is supposed to be played on a trackball, but I'm like, I'm like using the keyboard right now, so it's like perfect, uh, 
you know, perfect, you throw it in a perfect line like that, but you're not going to be able to do that on trackball. What? How did I miss one? Okay. So I just have to... And like, I fucked around with the analog setting some, but it didn't actually, like, really change much. I'm always missing the, uh, the fucking 8 pin. Damn it. God, I really want to see if there's more voice samples like that. Well, maybe I should be doing this from the left. See if the winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alright. <laughs> okay, let me see if there's a... ROM test, screen alignment. No, it doesn't look like there's... Oops. Switch test? No. <laughs> Whoa! That's one of the fucking laughs from Narc! That's Mr. Big's laugh! Where does that happen in the game? I gotta know. I really gotta know now. Is that in the pool game? Let's find out. Whoa, look at that dude! Wow, I'm so glad he told me to go into service mode, Jed. Holy shit. Alright. Oh, yeah, you're right, Josh. It might be the fucking, uh, clown. Wow, that was a pretty anemic break. Ball spin. Uh... Oh, this is really awkward. Oh, shit. Wait, how do I fucking... There we go. Huh. This kind of sucks. Oh shit, I don't want to do that. No, wait, no, I did want to do that. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know if Eugene Jarvis is credited on this game. There was a, a list of credits, but... This is... Yeah, I'm not hitting the ball very hard, but... Oh, I need to increase the... I only increased the X trackball. I need to increase that one. That would explain it. Time's running out. Sick. Oh, I didn't... Oh, that was the 8-ball. Fuck myself. Actually, the game doesn't care. Never mind. <laughs> Too bad, BB-8. Scratch! Yep, scratch. This is just like... Whoa. Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, sick. So they just give you infinite chances as long as you don't scratch? That's what it seems like. Or not. Do I actually get to continue? How do I? Oh, turns. Okay, it does take. Uh, it takes a ball away anytime you don't sink a shot. Sink a shot. Yeah. Okay. Never mind.
You're having way too much fun with that SK. Way, way, way too much fun. Fuck. That's not the angle I wanted to hit that at. Yeah, this game is like missing like FMV sequences to really be a, a complete billiard experience. Look at Minnesota fast, that game is so... I shouldn't say good, but it's a, it's a video game. See what happens when you clear one rack. Rack them up! Oh, thank you. Alright, we're going back to bowling uh, one more time. I'm gonna fucking cheat my way through this. Just because I have to fucking see. I have to see. Power strike. Oh, that's the same thing. Better have something for Turkey. Triple strike. Whoa, that football player just spiked a fucking bowling pin. <laughs> that was sick. I'm gonna make a gif of that. Alright. Yeah, spike that bowling pin. It better do something like really fucking cool for per for a perfect game. And it's good. Did they know that this is not football? Did nobody tell them that this was a uh, a bowling game? gotta be like some fancy shit for a perfect game. I'm gonna be really fucking disappointed if there isn't. Power strike! What the? It, they're still doing football shit. Like, were they making high-impact football at the time? 
And then they were just like, or they're making this, and they're like, fuck it, we want to make a football game instead. And then they made high impact football. Power strike! I'm setting myself up for a letdown, aren't I? Power strike! What the? What was that? Was that like a, a fucking race car? Power strike! 300 club. The winner. That's all it says. 300 club. I'm so fucking let down. The game peaks early, I guess. Yeah, this game came out in 1989. God damn it, SK. Like that animated gif of like somebody's grandma in a in a teddy just say, "Come here, boy." Like what is that? Game is just so fucking weird. Oh yeah, you're right. I never did a gutter ball, huh? I'll do that, then we'll move on. Nothing happens. All right, I think we're done here. <laughs> that was... That really exceeded my expectations for this when I saw it. Holy shit. That was good. That was pretty... pretty quality. Wow. <laughs> Maybe Sonya. <laughs> it was Carrie Hoskins' first uh, gig at Midway. Oh, I forgot to check the credits. Hold on. Somebody asked about uh, Eugene Jarvis. It did show the... Uh, the credits. Briefly. I think. Is it now? Where is it? There we go. Uh... There's a lot of familiar names here, but... No. All right, now we can move on. <laughs> Jesus. All right, next up. Wolfied. I think this is another uh, kick-style game, but without Titty. Oops, did not mean to push zero. Power strike. So yeah, apparently like, I remember watching, uh, well not watching, but there was like a, a maxed out score of this at Mark, at least one, so this game does have counter stop, but uh, I'm not really big on kicks games, so I don't really know much about it. Now you got power ups and shit. Okay, <laughs> quick and to the point. 
All right, how do you get the power up then? Do you already have it? Yeah, of course that would kill me. Wait. Okay, this is an analog. It's like, wait a minute. Sometimes you're moving faster, but that's just when you're not holding down the button. Alright. Rip. Uh, is this one button? Yeah, it's one button. Yeah, this might be the uh, the first kicks game without Titty. Okay, now I got laser. Can you actually kill this thing? I assume you can't. It's gonna have too much health. Is this not the same without the Titty? Rip. Wow. The blow ups. You don't even get a continue? Holy shit. Alright. Let's uh let's play this a little more patiently this time. So I guess the power ups are just uh, automatic. I'm not really sure what the P does. Okay, so they don't... Oh, fuck. When they touch the line, it creates that, uh, that chain of sparks, so it doesn't actually kill you until the, the sparks catch up to your little ship. Alright. Let's see. Like that. What do I have to do? Try 80%? So good at video games. I think I uh, kind of fucked this stage up. <laughs> I should be able to try 80% though. Oh fuck! Fucking. There we go. Look at that shitty ass bonus. doing a Kickstarter for the ACDC pinball table, huh? I actually really, really like the uh, the ACDC pinball table. Despite, like, not really being a fan of ACDC at all. Like, the ACDC pinball game is, is a really fun table. But, uh... I don't know, I haven't really, uh... I haven't really felt like playing much of anything in, in pinball arcade. Since, uh, since... Portland is like a, a secret mecca for for pinball. Also because I actually did back the uh, the Adams Family Kickstarter for Pinball Arcade. And then when the pinball table come came out, like the sound is just so fucking the audio on that game is so fucking terrible. Like it just sounds like it was recorded off like a a tape recorder from the nineties or something. It sounds so bad. And, like, I haven't been, been buying any tables in Pinball Arcade since then. Alright, 
try this once more. But yeah, I really like what I, uh... I really like the ACDC table. Even if I don't really care for ACDC as, the, as a band that much, but... But I don't think I'd pay another $10 to support a Kickstarter for... Then again, if I don't really care about the band, it doesn't. it's not gonna matter too much if the music sounds like shit, right? Cause like I have, I have seasons one and two of Pinball Arcade on Steam, and the only other table like uh, I'd bought separately was uh, was Black Knight 2000, which was like what what season four? Because I ha fucking had to have Black Knight 2000. Maybe I should stream Pinball one of these days just to have some motivation to to play it. Although I guess there's enough. Uh, Enough people out there now that are streaming real pinball that they're gonna they're like, oh, why are you playing this fake shit? Play real pinball. Pay pay a few thousand dollars for a table and then stream it. But, uh, I think you can draw a box around the enemies, but like I said, I'm not I'm not that good at kick style games. I should be like uh, making a little more effort to do that, I guess. But then again, I got speed up. Shit. Ah, uh, 79.7. There we go, try 80%. You can't buy separate tables? I thought you could. I mean, I bought Black Knight 2000 separately from, like, the rest of... It was Season 4, right? I don't remember if it was Season 4 or Season 3, but I do have Black Knight 2000 on its own when I didn't buy anything else. And the only reason I bought, like, Season 1 and Season 2 was it was during uh, one of the... one of the holiday sales where it was, like, half price. And, you know, you get more for your money from, uh, from Season 1 and 2 since that was before... That was when they were still selling them for shit. When you were getting two two tables from each pack, except for like except for like what, Twilight Zone or something in season one or season two? Yeah, Al Anonymous has a uh was streaming uh, Game of Thrones. I played that for the first time at a uh, at a bar that's like right next to this <laughs> this laser tag place. I have no fucking idea how the scoring works in Game of Thrones. I'm like so fucking confused by it. Wow, I thought I was on the wall there. Also, I don't really watch the show, so I don't uh, I don't have any at any attachment to that license either. <laughs> I hear the new Ghostbusters table is good, but I haven't played that yet. Anyway, I suck at uh, I suck at Volfeed. I wasn't able to even beat the default high score. I think we're gonna move on. And what do you know? We're up to game number two forty-five. So once again, it's viewer's choice. I'll bring up a list of fifteen games. You guys get to vote on one. Blah blah blah. You know the drill. Let's look at the list. Mahjong Clinic, Disco Boy, Poto Poto, Starship One, Sonic Blast Man 2 Special Turbo? What? Space Invaders 2 already played. <laughs> Lethal Wep. Oh, not working. Extreme Hunting, not working. One plus. I have no idea what that is. G Stream, G 2020, Renegade, Power Instinct. The Lost Castle in Dark Mist. Narc. And WWF Superstars already played. I know, right? I fucking hate that 
Every year they, they schedule California Extreme. Same weekend as Evo. Every year, without fail. Without fail. All right, there's a there's a, a few dank choices here. I know what I want, but uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Disco Boy has titties? Oh, great. Now everybody's going to vote for that. Fuck. Look, Nasweger, I'm sorry about timing you out the other day, but I did that because you were talking shit about uh, about Night Striker, and we don't talk shit about 10, 10 out of 10 games here, so. <laughs> People are still uh, still upset about the whole Night Striker thing, huh? Anyway. Here's the poll. I'm not rigging anything. This is all you guys. I'm actually going to step up and get a drink, so have fun. Fuck Narc? Okay, I'm banning Van Arctic then. What did I just say? We don't talk shit about 10 out of 10 games here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that this time. And yes, Narc is possible to 1cc. I actually did it on stream once. I did play it a few months ago, and I think I did uh, randomly get the 1cc one, one on it. Oh, I think I can... Oh, no, it's still pretty close. 12 votes for NARC, 8 for G-Stream. It's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Of course, once, if I, once I have the pressure on, I'm not going to get the fucking 1cc. Now that, uh, that SK is watching and waiting for... Their, and waiting to strike with the too bad BBH. Because it's all about, uh, you know... It's the last level. It all comes down to the last level. But I think I, uh, I definitely remember enough about it to, to at least do it in two credits, I think. All right, 16 votes for NARC, 9 for G-Stream. Yeah, I think we can call it now. G-Stream is like the most convoluted shit out there. Okay, that's exactly what I want out of Shmuffs. I want convoluted shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And yeah, we know the uh we know all about the whole DSP thing. Yeah, I'm sure G Stream will uh uh will come up again some other time, but uh For now. Hell yeah, let's play some narc. Zotmeister, it's uh, it's very playable. I will explain how.
Okay, I think the default button... Oh, they actually tell you what the buttons are. Thank you. Thank you. All right, crouch on thumb. Fire. Oh, the default button layout actually works correctly. Okay. <laughs> uh-oh. Pio Pio mod for Streets of Rage 2 on some... What? Okay. <laughs> What's up, Pasky? Sorry, I was... You have to fucking push a button to get past that screen. Streets to Rage 2, except it makes that weird Tim Allen noise when people die. Alright, let's play some NARC. Ah, oh, this game is so good. Oh no, the knocks, man! Let's go! Oh no, the knocks, man. So, the uh, the first strategy in this game, Crouch Walk. Crouch Walk is really good because uh, against the, uh, the the Paul Schaefer army, most of them will always fire those uh, standing shots, so you can crouch under them. If you take too long, eventually uh, some come out that actually start doing crouch shots. And the reason I'm walking into them to bust them is because you get a 5,000 point bonus at the end of the stage for each each guy you bust, but it caps at 50. So you can get a bonus of 250,000 points on the first stage just from busting these guys. This turns out to be uh, very significant because uh, the game gives an extra life for every 100,000 points. So ideally, you want to be uh, you want to build up as many extra lives possible. As Admit as many extra lives early as you can, because you kind of need them for the end. I'm not really worrying too much about like the uh, the money they're dropping or whatever. Because like the uh, the money is like 1,000, the bags of drugs are 2,000, but all the big money is on in busting them. It's random whether or not you actually get the bust when you uh, crouch walk into them. I think sometimes they get a uh, harder to bust when when you're close closer to 50. I'm not sure. Yeah, what crouch walking like dial. Also, you kind of want to keep moving because eventually these. Oh god, yeah, the dogs. Okay, I didn't like taking that damage. I actually kind of want to restart just because. Uh, <laughs> I need every life I can get, but then I will play it out. Okay. There we go, that's 50. Now we can actually clear the level. Yeah, the guys in the yellow pants, those guys actually crouch shot. So, we don't want to deal with them. Safe card in. Took a hit right as I was clearing it. Here come the big points. That's going to give me like three extra lives right there. Exactly 300,000. Dr. Spike Rush, aka William Dean Anderson. William Dean Anderson. God, I can't speak today. So these guys, their uh, their method of attacking is to like launch syringes at you, which doesn't seem like an effective way to sell drugs when you're just giving away free samples like that. But it turns out to be a good way to actually. <laughs> fight the cops because it'll take off like half your life when you uh, when you get hit by one. You get 5,000 points for busting them, but it's kind of kind of risky to do that because they're uh, they're slippery motherfuckers. Most of the time I'll just yeah, just shoot them, drop the butt, drop the dope. Oh, helicopter's taking off. Not on my watch. Except I did <laughs> take a hit and die there. That's okay though. You never do actually uh, replenish any any life by the way. Any damage you take is permanent. So you just have to deal with it until you, uh, you know, come up up to another life. All right, you get a big bonus if you uh, destroy all the uh, equipment in the stage, but usually I don't do it because uh, 
you lose all your rapid fire if you uh, if you use it all here. And I'd like to save that for later in the game. This isn't going to be a serious score run. I'm just trying to get the one credit clear. Okay, just they're just appearing out of nowhere. What the fuck? I'm just gonna play it it's extra cautious. We got it. I'll use a. Uh, oh, can I shoot some of these? Yeah, I get that bust. But again, if I uh, wait too long here, more dogs are gonna come out. So, like I said, I'm just gonna. Wait. Yeah, I was gonna say, did I, I did pick up the safe card, didn't I? That's good for two more extra lives. So I'm already up to seven lives in reserve. We're on our way. PCP addict, proceed with caution. So Joe Rockhead is an enemy that takes uh, several shots to kill. They're very annoying. This is the first stage that gives you uh, the Narcmobile. There's actually several of these in the in the stage. If you blow one up, you can get another one, which is always nice. Try to bust some of these guys just for the extra points. Oh, a solid bust. All right. But the problem is when you get into this, if you go too fast and you crash into something, you'll automatically destroy the card. Sometimes you will, like, uh, also die if it runs over a landmine. There are landmines on the bridge for, like, no reason. And there's gonna be some, some Joe Rockets coming right up, right next to some, uh, trash can dumpsters. And if you go, if you go full force into the, into the dumpsters, you will blow up the car, too. Get in the fucking car. Yeah, right there. Yeah, there's the landmines. And you can't even run over these dudes, you just bounce off them. So. We're gonna get them to walk into the mines. Or I'll just drive into the mine. Son of an idiot. Alright, whatever. Oh god! Okay, this is this is getting bad. I fucked up. Uh I kinda wanna restart now. Because this is a problem. Alright. Yeah. I should not have lost two lives there, but. Max will let it rock. Oh shit! There we go. It's always easier to just crash the car into the into the helicopter that spawns instead of uh, wasting a rocket on it. This time I'm not gonna have a choice. What? Well, now I gotta waste another rocket, which I don't like doing because you need to save rockets for the, uh, for the last boss. Like I said, this game is all about saving stuff for the end. That is the the hardest part of the game. But yeah, this was one of the first games to have like full digitized graphics for like almost everything. It looked really impressive at the time. What? Okay, the uh If I die again, I'm just gonna restart, because I forgot to start the timer. I don't like having a fucking timer on this thing. I've also barely been reading chat. I've been so fucking absorbed and trying to trying to explain all this shit. Yeah, we're restarting. It's very important to get through that bridge stage. Okay. <laughs> I'd have to put up put so much fucking pressure on me to get the one CC, and this is what happens. I have a fucking video on YouTube of a 1cc, but I gotta do it live on stream. Oh no, the night, man. I don't care. Whatever, we'll play it again. You're busted. Alright, back to uh Freeze. Those guys in the uh the gray jackets, they usually drop either uh those those extra rapid fire bullets or rockets, and like I said, you gotta you gotta build up a bunch of rockets for the uh, the last boss. You can pretty you can pretty much only damage it with rockets. Or very 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 carefully 
timed uh, jump shots because you can only hit them in the eye, and it's much easier to do with rockets. It's really annoying. You'll see it when it when it comes. Like a lot of people couldn't get couldn't get past that last boss because it actually makes you restart if you fuck up. You're busted. Spread them. Spread them. Yeah, yeah, Barry. I know, I know. Spread them. People want the fucking timer on the side, though. What the? Oh, crap. I don't even want to take hits that early. All right, guaranteed one CC right here. Let's go. I took too many hits on the first level on that first attempt anyway, so whatever. Spread them. But no, this game looks looks really fucking good for 1988. I mean, when you compare this to like what other games looked like back then, you're Keep doing the guile crash walk. You're busted. Please. Spread them. Spread them. You're busted. That's a good number to have going into Spread the second area. You're busted. Spread them. Spread them. You're busted. Give me the rockets. You're busted. I give up and then he runs away. He refuses to get busted. Also, this was the uh, the first game, you know, since this was the whole uh, war on drugs thing. It was the first game to have the uh, the winners don't use drugs message from William S. Sessions, director of FBI. It ended up appearing in like every other game that came out in the U.S. Spread them. You're busted. Police. Yeah, 41, 42, 43, 45. Spread them. You're busted. Police. Like that. Spread them. Police. The busted status You're is just busted. like kind of random when you walk into them. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of annoying. And once you get up to 50, you can't bust anymore. They automatically walk away. They don't even go into the animation. Ah, good old Midway and their randomness. Roger, Chief. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I didn't get the bust on that guy, but that's alright. Shit! I got caught. I'm still alive. Oh shit, the fucking helicopter. Alright, that works. I'm still alive somehow. All Schaefer armies coming up from behind. I don't know if I should go for for bus on these guys or not. Let's try it. All right, I got a few. Any points are you know are welcome since you know extra life every one hundred thousand. Got to keep doing it. The dogs are some of the most annoying enemies in this game, because if they get on your ass, they'll just fucking chew your nuts off over and over, and you can't really uh, get them off you. So you have to be, like, watching the, the radar at the top. It's so funny, this game has a fucking radar that's, like, straight out of Defender. It's such a Eugene Jarvis thing to do. Whoa. That anti-air syringe. Oh, God. We got it. We got it. Freeze! 
I'm sure crack is just a, uh, doesn't stand for anything. It was just a fun way to, you know, misspell crack. On the NES port of this, you know, they had to, like, tone down some stuff. They wouldn't allow the acronym crack, <laughs> so it's just called quack. K-W-A-K. <laughs> the quack stop. We're on our way. Alright, if I can avoid, like, losing, like, three lives in a row, that would be really fucking nice. Some early busts. Like, if I get past this stage, I should be okay. Until the, uh, the end. Well, no, the next stage is kind of annoying, too. I keep, like, forgetting the exact spot that the dumpsters show up, because I don't want to be going full speed. Wait, do I have 87 viewers? Holy shit. I'm probably going to get quality options, like, right when I reach the last boss. It's going to be what happened on Shinobi all over again. Come on, Twitch, make me partner already. <laughs> Quality options always kick in at, like, the worst possible time. Alright, the car despawned off the radar, but there should be another one that will pop up eventually. There it is. So I want to get in the car and crash it into the helicopter when it appears. Right over, kinky pinky. Look at that clown go. That's so satisfying. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm already bringing in the different color dogs. There we go. Whee! Oh, I almost did it! Sometimes you can crash the car into the helicopter, and then another car will spawn in just the right spot so you can go right into it. I did it once, like, uh, I think Dino made a gif of it. There's a gif of it somewhere. Go for the drugs. Fuck it. Fuck! That was a bad idea. Okay. As long as that doesn't kill me, I'm fine. That's fine. I still have seven lives in reserve. Nope. No biggie. It was a mistake to go back for those drugs. Yikes. Again, I don't want to be using too many rockets if I can help it, but uh, if you don't destroy those helicopters, they're just going to make your life miserable. You gotta, you gotta deal with them somehow. So, okay, that's fine. Ah, almost. God, I want to get that again. No, you can't arrest the clowns. Clowns uh, stab you to death. You're Shit! You're Fuck! This was a mistake! Dead. Wow, that explosion did not kill me. I am so amazed. Oh god, these guys are so fucking fast! Get in the car! Get in the car, idiot! Uh, shit! No, no, I don't want to get out! I almost crashed. God damn it! Okay. okay, I didn't... I didn't die. That's fine. Fuck it, let's clear the stage. Get out of here! Alright, that's a... Give me three more extra lives, okay. Uh, pretty much every Raw Thrills game is either a Fast and the Furious game or... We're on our way. Or Target Terror, which is basically maximum force. But you can shoot dudes in the dick, so I guess that's... okay. Right, this stage is kind of weird. 
and that there's these girls you can save, but the clowns can abduct them. It's a really short stage. The best way to do it is just go in, there's like multiple doors you can go into. But I just go into the one that actually, you know, has the, uh, the, the key card. Watch out for the car. So just ignore all this shit. Those guys throw dynamite, which can pretty much insta-kill you, so. It's the last door. Okay, gotta fight Joe Rockhead a bit. There's one rocket to push these guys back. And more spawn. I'm gonna have to use another rocket. I didn't want to do that, but whatever. Don't let them get too close, they will try to headbutt you to death. Oh yeah, I missed the uh that porn store called Hole in One. That's, that's so good. Alright. You do have to kill all those guys to to get out of this room. Get the key card. We got it. Oh shit! Okay, we have this stage. I don't even fuck with that stage. Alright, this stage is kind of weird because the beginning, we just have these Rambo guys. You just have to survive this, uh, this onslaught. I'm not doing a very good job of surviving. There we go. So when I uploaded a, uh, my 1cc video of this to YouTube, I had people in the comments talking shit about, or this one guy talking shit about me in this level. Because he's like, why aren't you grabbing all the uh, all the plants in this level? They should give you bonuses. Some of them are booby trapped and will insta kill you. And it's like hard to tell which ones actually will do it unless you memorize which ones they are. And I don't know which ones they are, so I figured out that the, the safe way to do this stage is just to go to the very top and just walk the, all the way through. We got it. All right, I got the key card. I want to get get the fuck out of here. Again, this is another stage where I'm not playing for score. I'm just playing for survival. This is the best way to do it. What's up, McCall? Suspect armed. We got it. All right, this is where. Uh, this is like the next to last stage. This is where the uh, the shit starts to hit the fan. They just throw everything at you now. Like every enemy in the game is all all together on the street. And there's really nothing to the stage. You just have to make it to the end. You're busted. And so again, I want to save my ammo, save my rockets. You're so just do this. Uh, keep doing this zigzag walk. Just dodge everything. Like I said, I'm not playing for score. I'm playing purely for survival. Although score is always nice because you can get, you know, extra lives every 100,000, but uh, I would rather just get through this part. I will worry about killing people when I get to the next scene. You're busted. Freeze. All right. The next objective is to get uh, to get rockets from the uh, from the the new enemies on the stage. You can actually bust these guys, but uh, if you let them get away from you. Kind of a problem. Well, I will get some... Okay, these guys drop rockets. I need that rocket. Then I... Alright, whatever. I think I should just, uh... Too many bullets! You're busted. You're busted. All right, fuck this. You're yeah. Luckily, putting in the safe card does uh, end the stage immediately. Oh wait, you don't actually get your bonus yet until you, uh, you reach Mr. Big. 
Shit. Oh god, Dagdar. I can't watch it now, though. Okay, gotta get the rocks from these guys. I should hopefully have enough rockets to... Fuck, I didn't want to get pushed back by that fucking grenade, or dynamite, whatever. Just gotta get up. Put the safe, put the key card in. I think there's one more door and then you get the bonus tally, which should give me a nice- oh wait. Yeah. What the fuck?! Okay, uh, this is not looking like it's gonna be a 1cc. <laughs> Unless... No, fuck it. I think I have enough rockets. Okay, I think I get the bonus here. I'm gonna have to fight Mr. Big on this stage, which... <sighs> okay. Kill the dogs. Don't even worry about busting them. Take out the dogs, they're gonna fuck your shit up if you let them stay alive. And keep an eye out for Mr. Big in his wheelchair. Oh god. Too many bullets. Yeah, I guess I just have to reach the, the end of the area to get Mr. Big to come out. Oh my god. Where are the dogs? They're coming out from behind. There he is. I didn't get him! How did that not count? Okay, he's coming back. I think he's coming back. Watching the radar. Watching the radar. No, he went down. Shit, the blocking the shots. How is it not hitting them? There we go. Shit. Okay. It never fucking hits. How is this missing? Oh god, I didn't pick up this card. Oh good, now I get to do the last boss in one life. This is gonna be fun. Wait. Oh, that pushes me over. Alright, now for the real last boss. Alright, gotta do a jump shot. Nope, get out of there, get out of there. Okay, this is doable, I think. Oh, I got the extra life. Blocking the shots. Game over. I ran out of rockets. <sighs> I can't do this now. Like, if you continue, you can't fucking do it. You have to do jump shots. But then when he, uh, when he turns into a skeleton, you have to take off his neck, piece by piece. But 
But see, they only give you five rockets when you continue. That's the problem. Yeah, wheelchair big. That was that was fucking me up because I was firing rockets right at him, but the rockets weren't actually hit him. They were hitting other enemies, and the explosion pushed them back. Like you can't you can't do this now unless you're extremely lucky because you can only damage the first part by shooting him in, in shooting him in the eye, and normal shots don't do shit for damage. So the best way to do it is rockets. You have to come into the boss with a lot of rockets, or you can't do this boss. You just cannot fucking do it. When you knock off the glasses, he starts draining your health with these fireballs. So. Like I said, you have to be extremely precise with the rockets, so you have to come into the stage with enough rockets. So yeah, that's it. That's game over. Well, now I'm really, uh, I'm really depressed. I couldn't fucking do it on stream. Even though I have a fucking uh, YouTube video of it and everything. But I just had some bad luck on uh, on wheelchair, Mr. Big. Oh well, let's listen to the great high score music. You're, you're busted. You're, you're busted. You're, you're busted. You're, you're busted. Oh no, the knife man. Oh no, 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 the knife man. You're busted. All right, now I'll look up my video. <laughs> Ah, uh, that that pisses me off so much. That fucking that fucking wheelchair part was was fucking my shit up so bad. See if I can do this. All right, let's see here. Do I have enough screen space to do this? Ah, the joys of trying to. Uh, do streams on on one monitor. That's always fun. Let's see, add window. We got it. Okay, so this was like uh let's see how's the audio. Audio's kinda of whatever. Right. I should have gone back to the wheelchair fight on that part, but whatever. Cause this ended up being like a really good Mr. Big fight. This is how it's supposed to go. I had 20 rockets going into this fight. Oh, maybe not. I wasted a lot. Oh, I wasted a lot of rockets there. Never mind. Well, I wasted all my rockets trying to get to that part. What did I do for this part then? I guess I just had a lot of machine gun bullets, and then you just keep, keep hitting the neck from like close range. Cause like sometimes the skeleton head gets in the way of the neck and you can't actually knock the pieces off. Like I just got really lucky there that it came, came forward and I fired the rocket. Even though it killed me, I was able to blow off the last few pieces there. Anyway, when you clear the last stage, you go into a bonus uh, gold room where you pick up a bunch of gold that every one of them is worth, uh... They're 24 karat gold, so each gold bar is worth 24,000 points.
Wow, that was a really bad fight. I guess I was thinking of the uh, the last time I played this, which which I did stream, but I didn't make a highlight out of it, I don't think. But I remember that Mr. Big fight being, like, really fucking good. Oh yeah, and then I, and then I stalled here for a while because, like, <laughs> there's, like, a known glitch for this game. Well, it's not really a glitch, but an exploit. If you wait here, like, dogs will come out and you can start killing them. And like eventually, the they more and more dogs come out, and they uh, they start speeding up and going faster and faster. And if you actually die, if you lose all your lives in this room and you continue, you don't start at Mr. Big. You start in this gold room again, and you, you can pick up all the gold bars again. So you can get like some ridiculous score, and you know the game doesn't care, you know if you use uh, continues or not. It'll it'll save your score. Oh, I guess those guys appear too. So just for laughs, I was like trying to trying to milk some extra points out of this area because I had two lives left over. You don't get a bonus for uh, leftover extra lives. And then by like... Yeah, those... Those dogs. They, they just fucking zoom in on you. You can't really deal with that. So I just said, fuck it. Let's just end the game. Look at that fat bonus. It's like the fucking Smash TV uh, uh, bonus count up. And here's the ending. Oh well, we'll listen to this again. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> I should still have the video file. I gotta find it. Fuck, I'm so mad I choked. It's not been a good few days for me, performing under pressure. Oh no, the night, man! Oh no, 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 the night, man! You're busted. Alright. Alright, we can move on now. <laughs> Fuck. Still salty. That was... Yeah, that was 245. Oh, I gotta look at the, uh, the dank art. I forgot. I was too busy getting pissed off at Mr. Big. <laughs> Oop. I already have Karen up there. Uh, fine work is always in. It warms my heart to see actual fan art of Narc. <laughs> All right, so that was three ninety five or two forty five. Hold on a sec. All right. Well, well, well. Another game I've I've claimed to be able to one CC but can't do anymore. <laughs> All right, rotary joystick game. I'm gonna need a pad. Did it not come up? Did the screen not come up? Why is the screen not there? Why is MAME... What the fuck? <sighs> Hold on. What the fuck? Why is it not coming up? 
It's Midnight Resistance. I swear it's Midnight Resistance, but it's not fucking... I should do a fucking win... I don't want to fucking do window capture. I want to do game capture. Like, here, look, it's... This is what came up, I swear. I'm not fucking rigging anything. I'm... <laughs> Nothing pisses me off more than technical problems, especially technical problems after, a f after what happened to me in NARC. <sighs> you guys can call bullshit all you want. This is what happened. This is what I'm playing. Now, give me a second while I try to figure out why this shit is not coming up. I don't even... It... <laughs> That's like the second time it's not, uh, OBS is not bringing up the window. I don't know what's going on here. And then somebody fucking messages me. What the fuck? Alright, now is it there? Okay, yeah, it's there, but it's not centered. All right, I hope this holds up. Pause this. Oh shit, I don't have any sound. Sorry, I muted my sound for a second. Figure out ana analog controls. Wait, what am I doing? I need the mouse. What the fuck? Shit. Wait, what is this button three actually do anything? I played this a few months ago and I was like, wait, does button 3 actually do anything? Because it's like up an attack that actually... Who the fuck is this? Stop messaging me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting... I'm getting fucking pissed off right now. <laughs> Alright, I gotta figure out analog controls. I'm pretty sure this is... It, goes, it moves like way too fast on default. Alright, button check. Yeah, it's too fast. That's still too fast. Wow, you need position sensitivity one just to be able to do this. Oh, wait a minute! This version has the fucking, uh... Analog bug. I gotta do this in, in an earlier version. Shit! No, some guy, like... Some, some guy messaged me just saying, yo. And I messaged back saying hi, and then now he's saying, who is this? Like, some guy has, like, the wrong number or something. I don't know who this fucker is. Why don't you tell me who you are first? Alright, this is a different version. And I didn't load it up with the mouse. Welcome to the technical difficulty stream. Wow. This is way different. Okay. <laughs> huh. 
I'll get started on this very soon. I swear to God. All right, now we can start. So, Midnight Resistance. <laughs> this is a pretty cool game. It is basically kind of kind of a mixture between Contra and Heavy Barrel. As uh, it is a platformer, but it is a, a rotary joystick game, which is kind of rare because most rotary joystick games are uh, overhead view, whereas this is horizontal. It's a full-on uh, full-on horizontal game, but it's also got like a. Uh, the, the key system from Heavy Barrel, where uh, at the end of the level, all those keys you pick up can be uh, exchanged for extra weapons. Yeah, it did come out on the Genesis. And yeah, without the uh, without the rotary uh, joystick, it is a little uh, it was a little awkward on the Genesis. Yeah, the uh, the drops can be kind of random, unfortunately. Pick a weapon. Pick a weapon. It's like three way. Three way. Extra bullets. Power up. And secondary Shower. weapon. Shower. <laughs> I probably didn't need to get the uh, the extra bullets, but you're gonna have no uh, no problem just getting in uh, six keys anyway. So before the end of the level. So if you have the secondary weapon, you can uh, take out that guy on top of the turret, and then the the uh, the turret gets locked in place. So even though this is, this is a horizontally uh, scrolling platform, and then the the uh, the turret gets locked in place. So even though this is, this is a horizontally uh, scrolling platform game, there's a lot of uh, vertical sections, like this one. There's that, yeah. You do die in one hit, and you do die when you collide with enemies. So, you gotta be careful at all times. Alright, oh no, it's just in the buzzsaw part. I thought it was. Forgot the timer. I'm never gonna get used to that, I think. Speed runs rats. <laughs> wow, the slowdown. It is running 100% speed though. Uh, is this supposed to be running this slow? I don't think so. This looks. I don't remember it being this slow. I could be wrong. I did kind of roll back to an older version of MAME just because uh, newer versions of MAME have a bug where uh, you try to... It gets locked in a certain direction on rotary joystick games, or, or it locks you out of a certain direction, I should say. And it's just really awkward to, to try to play like that. So I'm just using a version where you can actually properly rotate since they still haven't fucking fixed that bug. Freeway. Shower. I just don't remember this boss being, uh, having this much slowdown, but could be wrong. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be a 1cc. <laughs> uh, 
Oh well. It's a three way shower, yeah. Um, move down. There we go. Pick a weapon. Pick a weapon. Shotgun. Power up. Yeah, supercharged. Super power up. Oh, this isn't the stage I thought it was. I thought it was the stage that started out where you have to escape that tank or whatever. Super shotgun is so fucking good, though. Alright, this part's kind of weird. Just kind of slowly wait while these platforms move up on their own. Yeah, three-way would have been better to have here, or five-way when it's powered up, but, uh... Yeah, let's make do with this. Shower's still pretty good to have here. You just keep firing them. No way I'm gonna go through all 999 bullets before the end of the stage. I can just keep the shotgun into the next stage anyway, as long as I don't die. I should be more concerned with getting a new, uh, a new secondary weapon. Wow! Okay, I fucked that up. I thought I could move away the Yeah, not, not, not gonna be a 1cc, unfortunately. This was the stage I thought was next. Or the last stage, I mean. These are like the same ninjas from uh, from bad oh shit from bad dudes. It's data East, it could all be in the same universe as fucking Carnot is the bad dudes, right? Okay, what was this boss? The Jets? Yeah. This is a pretty cool boss battle. Alright, starting from the left. Oh, sorry, from the right. Never mind. Luckily, you don't die from running into those chests, just the missile. And then whichever jets are still left, pass pass back around in the background. That's a cool effect. 
Never. I didn't even know there was a glitch to skip the stage, so I've never seen the game soft block like that. Wow, oh, they just give you five keys at the end anyway. Pick a weapon. Okay. Super power up. Do that. Homing missile. Still have plenty of ammo. Oh, is this a stage that? Yeah, the stage sucks. Stage that was in the demo. Alright, try not. Yeah. If you move forward too far, like, you can't see, see a head on the screen. anti-air skills were on point there, but... Drop down there, you actually have to climb the ladder down first. Oh, shit. And then we fight this weird ass boss. Did I fuck up? Gee. Yeah, I fucked up. Shotgun! Holding missile! Should have taken out that. That bottom right one first. I just shouldn't have jumped at all. Oh, now the now the one CC is fucking <laughs> fucking doomed. Unless I can get another one up. Choices. Fuck it, we're doing it. I want to keep that one CC dream alive. Now I gotta be really. Oh, fuck! I thought you could jump past the uh, the ceiling of the screen. So I was trying to do a cool jump over that bullet. All right, I've made some bad choices today. need a lot of bullets for this part. Yeah, buzzsaws again. This game fucking loves buzzsaws for some reason. And then two come out at once, and then I think three. <laughs> yeah, there go all my shotgun bullets. Gears, buzzsaws, whatever. Spinny bullshit. <laughs> I just have to 
take one out as fast as I possibly can. Ah, oh, this little puny gun. Alive. Alright. <laughs> this is pretty good. up Santa. Oh he's doing a pod champ. Alright now I, I really need new weapons. Pick a weapon. Alright, let's see here. I guess it's gonna have to be three-way shower. Because I need another uh, secondary. Three-way! Is this the fucking ladder stage? Oh no, it's the it's the boat. Okay, this is isn't too bad. Or at least it wouldn't be too bad if I had better weapons. Alright, you can't shoot them until they do that. For these. Slow down. as much damage in on those as I can. Wow, this is... This is really slow. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this version of MAME. I was just trying to try a random old version that uh, wouldn't have the rotary joystick bug. I think I changed anything else. The shower just brings the game to a crawl. Or maybe it's just three way. matter of endurance. Alright, come back around. Don't be shy. Oh god. I understand this boss pattern completely, it just has too much health. Oh, you don't even have to destroy those turrets, just the ones in the center. Okay, the next stage is that fucking annoying ass ladder stage, right, for the last, the last stage, right? That's where everybody loses their keys. What the? Okay. Pick a weapon. 
Get it with secondary, so <sighs> take a supercharge. Super power up. Huh. Okay, I gotta fucking <laughs> take this slow. <laughs> Don't rush the ladders. You don't want to run into one of these assholes. You do need all the keys. Oh shit! I almost didn't pick that up. Okay. We good. Red bullet on red flame, that's kind of hard to see. Alright, good. Pick I had all the weapon. keys so I can actually save my entire family. Uh, shotgun's good Shotgun. to Shotgun. Super power up. <laughs> Fucking voice. Thank you. Is this? Yeah, I think I want to keep that. Love you. have the super shotgun. Alright, so this is the last stage, which is fucking weird as shit. Yeah, that was totally the woman uh, voice sample from Robocop, when you save her. You're under arrest. Thank you. You don't want to actually rush this part because, yeah, you could just uh, almost fucking eat it like that. Obviously, only the uh, the red ones are the ones that fire bullets. And I think eventually they do. Uh, these faces do actually like, run out, so. Definitely have to take out as many of the red faces as possible before reaching this section. So you do have to crawl to get into the to the last boss. Thank. Oh shit. Oh shit, two bullets on the screen. What am I gonna do? A million points, too bad there's no uh, point based extends in this game. God, still not. Oh no! For it? Alright, good. Alright, now if I can just not fuck up the last boss pattern. If I can just remember the last boss pattern. Yeah. There we go. Alright, just keep firing the super shotgun. Hope it does enough damage.
Hey, 1cc! <laughs> I fucking did it! <laughs> it was looking rough there, but I think I got it. So if you didn't save all your family, whichever family members you didn't save, they won't uh, be there on the screen. So you could just end up there by yourself if you, uh, if you fucked up and had no keys going into the last uh, section. Scumbag? Why am I a scumbag? <laughs> What's up, Slappy? Yeah, I remember last time I played this, it took like three or four continues to fucking do that, that game. I figured I'd forgotten enough of it again already before. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get the 1cc, but... And I had to buy like two extra 1-ups, so... No, it goes well. You haven't missed out, Foxy, so I'm not, uh, player's choice, or viewer's choice didn't extend past that, uh, that one broadcast I did last week. Although, if you didn't see the, uh, the last stream, Forgotten Worlds actually came up as the first game, so I remember you really wanted that to come up, but, uh. Oh, that's the stage two skip. All right. That, that boss was a drug kingpin? What? I didn't know there even was plot. How far did I make it into Forgotten Worlds? I got I got bodied. I got like I think like halfway maybe on the first credit, and then I had to start continuing. And then the last boss just like completely uh, fucked my shit up. Something like that. All right, that's uh, that's Midnight Resistance. It's still it's still a really fun game. Data East made some uh, made some good games in the late eighties, early nineties. But yeah, Ghost Pilot. It's in it's on the uh, it's on my YouTube channel. I, well, and the Twitch highlights. I do uh, I do upload all these to YouTube. So if you miss an episode, you know, check it out. All right, let's assume uh, I can bring the main window back up and it doesn't uh, disappear again. I don't want any more technical problems, please. Alley Master. Sounds like more bowling. Oh, look, du Double Dragon 3 is right there. <laughs> this is... <laughs> After Power Strike, there's like no way anything can live up to that. Alright, this is... Oh, fuck, I have mouse cursor on here. Alright, another bowling game. Another game with analog control. Let's increase the fuck out of the Y... Y axis. Minimum six games? Who would want to play six games of this? All right. If you have a statistics key, enter it, insert it now. Initials and birthday are used for storing stats.
I'm a right-handed female. Oh, fuck, it's auto-centering. Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, this auto-centering can go to hell. Wait, 80 stick Y, 80 stick X. Oh, I was increasing... Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, look at that animation. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, oh, you can move. Okay. You have to use buttons to move. I got it. Wait. No. Okay. What? Why does it curve? Okay. Alright, stand in the very center. I'm just trying to tap the button. I can't get it to go in the center. Why does it keep curving to the left? Wow. Oh, pull further back for more hook. Do not wait for the beeps. Yeah, give me the tutorial now. Thank you. It's still fucking hooking! Like, I'm just pushing up, and it keeps going. Alright. That's the way we're gonna play, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I knocked down some pins. So, if I do this... Wow, this is so dumb. <laughs> Alright, good night, System 11. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is really bad to play without the original controls. Damn it! Almost a power strike. Wait, that's not even gonna hit. So yeah, this sure is bowling. What? Do not wait for the beeps. Whatever you do, do not wait for the beeps. Uh... I went too far to the left, didn't I? I'm still not sure, like, how to fucking control the hook. Like I said, if you pull it back too far, but if I just tap it... How did that not hit those pins? Come on. Bullshit. Yeah, this is ass. Oh! Wow. No power strike, no fucking explosions, no football guys spiking bowling pins, no nothing. <laughs> 72. You can pull better in, in real life than that. Jesus. Alright, that's Alley Master. <laughs> it might be more fun on a, on a regular trackball, but probably not. Like, why bother when League Bowling exists, exists, I should say? Night Gal Summer, not working. Alley Master was called Up Your Alley during development. <laughs> they just really wanted to use uh, alley puns, huh? Alright, we roll. Oh, Spiker's Battle. Also not working. Technically, it's working in demo, but 
After all the technical difficulties tonight, I don't want to fuck with uh, another emulator. And Rival Schools is right there, too. Get fucked, SK. Oh, and Psychic 5 is right... Reroll. Another Mahjong game, another game that's not working. I still gotta clean up this list a little more, I think. And we get a fucking quiz game that I'm not gonna... Be able to read, but uh, whatever. Let's it's it's Psycho. Let's take a look at it, I guess. Whoa, it's two monitors. Rip my layout. Video options. There we go. Whoa, waifus. Ugh. What the fuck? Well, this is gonna be another, uh, another quick one. <laughs> Although I do want to see some anime titty. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, girls, don't be losing all that thickness. All right, what are the buttons? Yeah, four buttons. Whoa. Man, this is anime as fuck. Alright, let's play this shit. Okay, the audio is really low. Actually, wait, let me see if I can... ...change that. You get two lives? Wow. No, you can't raise the audio through here. Alright, I'll just have to do that. Alright. The second monitor is, I guess, for head-to-head, -head because, like, there's four, four idols and only, like, two people per monitor. I guess. I have to play. Oh, well. she's all right. Um, sure. Writing a novel here? Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do that thing! Yo, this game's music's pretty legit. God, I just want to do mini games. I want to do this fucking quizzes. I don't know. Whoa, I'm good. I'm so good. So bad. Oh, take a bath, shithead. Take a shower. And you only get two lives. That's so. That's harsh. <laughs> you saw nothing. Yatta! Three-way shower. <laughs> okay, what the hell is this? Let's see, let's see what this is. Uh, what's this?
Oh god, if this is mashing, I don't have my stick plugged in. I can't do my two-handed mash. Oh, it's more quizzes. Fuck. So much cheating tonight. <laughs> Hot. Look how long her legs are. Holy shit. There's no thickness either. Oh. What is this? Okay. I powered up something. thing. Okay, uh, what is this? Is this, like, trivia category, I guess? Like, how do I... I just want to do, like, those mini-games or whatever. Okay, I might be ready to move on if, <laughs> if people are have had enough of this. Well, what's this? E.T. Oh, three? What the? Let me see. No, it's just more quizzes. Save state cheating. Whoa, skeleton ahead. All right, this has got to be something. Whoa. Or brake buttons. Oh, you have to stop for the goal? <laughs> Alright, what are these other things? What's the pig one? Oh, this is the workout one. Oh, I guess it's kind of kind of pointless if you're not competing against anybody, huh? Getting red as fuck, though. Okay, this is this is harder than it looks. It's like really slippery. There we go. Whatever. What does this have to do with the idol business? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, this is this is harder than it looks. It's like really slippery. There we go. Nope. Yo, that's hard. <laughs> I guess it would be more exciting than, uh, more exciting if I was playing against people, but, and if I wasn't cheating on everything, but. Oh, 
shit. I forgot to say. Oh, whatever. Wow, Rock King, you owned me. Jesus. <laughs> I can't read Japanese. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm gonna just cheat through the quizzes. I just want to see, like, all the dumb shit in this game. <laughs> Alright, what the... Well, they're asking more questions? Alright, that's it. That's enough of this. <laughs> It's, uh, it's something. <laughs> but, uh, can't really do much with, uh, quiz games when you don't understand the language. Nah, there's too many stages to, to play all the way through it, so. Quiz games are only good when they involve, uh, <laughs> press your luck ripoffs that tell me too bad. Alright, next game. Marvel Land. Victor Entertainment's gonna fuck my shit. Good. Actually, uh, Victor Entertainment hasn't really been doing, uh, Hasn't put copyright claims on any of the recent episodes I've uploaded to YouTube that had Namco games. So far, so good, I guess. Oh good, I'm still on pad. Whatever, it's a platformer, I can play it on pad. It's a marvel, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> the demo really sucks at this game. Alright. I remember playing this on the Genesis, but... Wasn't really too familiar with the arcade version. Dust. So you don't have a... I think you can get a power-up later that... Like this. Oh no, this one just propels you back. Oh, that time's running out. I think it's a dude. I don't think that's a girl. I'm not sure, though. I assumed it was a dude. No, no, get back here. Oh, shit. I don't know what the, those shadows do. Oh, you can... Okay. Right, you gotta get the Namco 765 bonus. Shadows, that's nice. 
Whoa. Okay, that's cool. You, like tap the the other direction. To... Oh, you lose them when you do that. All right, that's not cool. Ah. Oh, I should go for that. It's gonna eat up so much time, though. Oh, I got wings. Damn, you could hella hops off that. <laughs> I saw the clock, I was like... Or, I'm running out of clocks on the timer, so I try to, like, speed up. That was a bad idea. Whoa. Oh, burger! Shit. Couldn't get a big jump. Alright. <laughs> Do I have to click these links? <laughs> oh, roller coaster. Oh shit! Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, loop the loop. Oh Jesus. All them hot dogs. Yeah, this music. Yeah, I hope they put a fucking copyright claim for this wonderful soundtrack. Womp, 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 womp. Still world one. Oh, pumpkin. Oh, you get that guy gets pissed off if you jump on his pumpkin head. Okay. Oh shit. out somehow. <laughs> Whoa. What? Stop. Okay, well, at least you can continue. <laughs> Oh, you push up to do that twirly thing. Alright. Shit! 
Why did like five of them come out at once? All right. Wait, what? How did that kill me? <laughs> that was a bad credit. Holy shit. why I wasn't able to jump on that guy. It looked like I should have been able to. Alright, so I gotta push this. Ooh, big points. Oh, they can actually destroy those things by a... Uh... Stuff and stuff too, huh? It's kind of unfortunate. Alright, so this part. So they're not gonna go past, yeah. You gotta play like paper, rock, scissors here too, right? Pokasuka slot game? It's basically paper, rock, scissors, but. When the game is draw, winner is enemy. Damn! <laughs> the very this time. Here goes. <laughs> I'll tell my monster, my master mole. Chew. <laughs> His name is Paco. <laughs> I guess he's Mexican. I don't know. Challenge bonus stage. And this is like, yeah, yeah. A show of all these, uh, all these famous Namco characters. We got Puka, we got Pac-Man. We got, uh, that thing. We got her. Oops, I fell. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, so much for that. I was about to say, if there's one Namco character that comes up, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed, but... Maybe it was for the best that I ended that stage early. Oh, shit! Oh, you can push those. Oh, okay. I don't know what I... Shit! Oh, 
the thing was in this game? How did I miss it? Oh no! No! Are you fucking serious? I refuse. Take a bath, shithead. That's Marvel Land. I'm fucking done with it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> It had to show up somewhere, didn't it? And I forgot to put the timer again. I think I forgot the timer for, like, at least six of the 11 games so far. Anyway, that was uh, game number 249. So, uh, next game is game 250. I think we're going to make this the last game of the stream. So I'd like to... Might as well go out on a, on a viewer's choice poll. Since, uh, I don't know, I'm not really having a, a very good night tonight. Well, that Midnight Resistance 1cc was alright, but, uh, I don't know. I'm still really pissed about that NARC thing. And now I'm really pissed that I played a game that secretly had Hopping Mappy in it, so. All sorts of butt hurt. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a good game. Let's end on a good game. What do we got? We have... Hmm. Shanghai, Flashpoint, Operation Thunderbolt. <laughs> Pop Flame I already played. Wow. Well, I know what everybody's going to vote here, vote for here. But the last time I tried this, it ran, like, really slow. Or, like, it ran okay, but anytime there were explosions on the screen, it slowed to a crawl. Like, I'm not even joking. It would go down to, like, 60% speed. I know everybody's gonna fucking vote for that, but it's not really gonna be playable. Yeah, what the fuck? Sonic Blast Man 2 Special Turbo came up twice? But, oh well. This is not the, uh, not a great poll to go out on, in my opinion, but. Get a new PC? Feel free to donate. I'll take any donations towards a new, P new PC. Uh, yeah, I think King of, wait, is King of Dynasty an updated version of... No, I don't think it's the same as Dyna Gear. Alright, Operation Thunderbolt. Harry Warriors. What's that? Water match. I don't even know what water match is. Freedom Force. God, they can't so bad. Fire's in the pack there. What the hell is... Is Hidden Catch 3 gambling? I don't know. Baby Phoenix GV system. Okay, that's a BIOS file. Fighter's Impact is like, it's not what I thought it was, but it's like not, uh, 
It became something else, I think. Alright, I think that's everything. Eh, not a, not a solid list I wanted to see for number 250, but eh, how about it? King of Dynast has no sound? Uh. That would be unfortunate. But I mean, I... If it's a bootleg of Dynagear, couldn't I just play Dynagear instead? Like, it's not a clone, but we could just count it as Dynagear, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know there was a a main uh an arcade bootleg of Sonic Blast Man 2 special turbo. AJ, it's going to run really slow if if I play Mushu Futari. Also, I'll let you uh, in on a little secret. Don't tell anyone. I'm not really a fan of either of the, the Mushu Himesama games. I'm really bad at them. I don't really... I don't know. I, they never really clicked with me, so... I would not be able to, to show off anything impressive in, on either of those games anyway, so... But don't tell anyone. Shh. Yeah, it's an arcade bootleg of a Super Nintendo game, but uh, whatever. Anything goes, I guess. All right, there's like nine votes for Sonic the Last Man 2, six for Don Doko Don. That Quiz Idol game was sort of a... Well, I don't know if there was any lucky Chloe-tier characters in that game, but... Very few characters can really match lucky Chloe. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be uh, Sonic Blast Man 2. Those are kind of... Yeah, 10 votes for that. 7 for Don Doko Don. Still kind of close. Still kind of close. And yeah, arcade baseball games without... Uh, when you're not playing against somebody, it's not very interesting. Unless you're... <laughs> uh, unless you're getting blown up like in Great Sluggers 94 where everything runs way too fast. The computer can score like 13 runs in like three, uh, three innings. Alright, well... Yep, it's definitely gonna be Sonic Blast Man 2. Alright. We'll f head on to fucking Super Nintendo bootleg. Sure, why not? Also, yeah, Super Baseball is a is a neat game. It's a it's a definite uh, change up compared to most baseball games. Get it? I made a pun there, but uh, it's pretty cool. Could have played it, but yeah. All right. 
how does this... Wow, it, 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 it emulates the full Super Nintendo pad. Holy shit. Uh, let's see here. I may have to redo this. Oops. coin. I wonder what's special turbo about it. Alright, there's only one obvious choice here. Switch these two. Wait. This should be... There we go. Oh yeah, there's a roll button. And then... Yeah, that's the super attack. Okay, that was button check. Uh, Did I break it when I reset it? I think I broke it. <laughs> Alright, restart. Alright. So, I don't... I, didn't really know much about this game. I never played it when it was on the Super Nintendo. I never really seen much of it until I watched uh, until I watched it on Sardus and Rescue Cat stream, uh, the Adventure Pals. They stream every Wednesday. Check it out. Anyway, <laughs> wait, did it say start botten? I missed that. And I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be music here, by the way. Uh, that might be a main thing. It might, well, it did say sound emulation isn't 100%. So maybe that's, uh, whoa. Okay, wake up frames. Look at that knee. Okay, you can't seem to do multi, uh, multi knee bashes when you grab somebody. But you push hard attack, you do that. Alright. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's good. Oh, get that baseball cap. Why can't I get the baseball cap? I want the baseball cap. Also, it's kind of weird that this is a beat em up with a, a fucking roll button. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Wait, does that have invincibility at the end? I can't even tell. Shit. Wait, does the roll have. Yeah, that's kind of sick. Okay, the bosses have wake up on. Well, not bosses, but some of the enemies have wake up on vulnerability. Of course they would. Ah, no more rerolls. 
I'm not I'm not allowing rerolls anymore on, on viewer's choice. Oh, there's some music. We lost Turbo Outrun so that we could have Gypsy Juggler instead, so that was kind of a fuck up. So yeah, I'm like I said, I'm not that familiar with this game, but I'm uh not really sure what makes this so special turbo compared to the Super Nintendo version. What the fuck is that? Shit. Now, some of these attacks have like almost like no startup frames. They just hit you instantly and then you're knocked down. Oh, you can't actually kill that guy. What the fuck kind of hitbox is that? Alright. Charge up. There we go. Press start. Oh. Oh, more dank art. I gotta see this. Once this comes up. Alright, let me pause this for a second. Fucking Marvel Land. <laughs> Stop reminding me that I played Marvel Land. No, I'm just kidding. That's uh, that's great. Oh shit. Meanwhile, what? Where's my super attack? Okay. What are you using? Wow, that's some serious range on that y-axis. Start doesn't do anything, by the way. Jesus, look at that fucking range! I'd rather see Bubsy than, uh... I guess I shouldn't be hating on the, uh... On Paco, or whatever his name was from Marvel Land. It's not his fault he's in the game with Mappy. Actually, yeah, it is his fault. Fuck that guy. Oh, now it changes. It didn't change the first time. Maybe it didn't change on bosses, only in stages? I don't know. Bubsy did nothing wrong. Bubsy's a legend. What the? Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I don't like cheap off-screen hits like that. It seems like it seems like all the enemies in this game just have attacks with like barely any startup frames. That you have no idea they're gonna come. They just attack and they hit you. Headbutt in from off-screen. Alright, you don't have invincibility at the end of the roll. That kinda sucks. Pick up the glove. <sighs> I don't know if this game actually has, like, uh, point-based extends, because 
Like, sometimes other, uh, bootlegs of console games, they, like, change stuff to, like, what? To get rid of, uh, like, extra lives, like the, uh... Uh, the Mega Play version of Streets of Rage 2, like, got rid of all the extra lives, apparently. Well, it wasn't the best, uh, the best selection of games for a viewer's choice ball. It is what it is. Yeah, I forgot the timer again, didn't I? I've, res I've stopped it when I reset the game. I don't think I'm gonna bother with timer next time. I'm, I'm always gonna forget to, to set it. 